the uh, collectors, the condenser also produces sunlight as well, or light uh, equivalent to full daylight. So if you you can so like this bottom collector here is hmm, should be fully powered, but it's not. At any rate, this is perhaps a issue with my setup, but yeah, you keep it here. Now here I have a setup with a relay. You can do the same thing with relays that you can energy condensers. You can lay out coll energy collectors around in this f format, and then you can also put them underneath. See, I have one down there. And then you can put the relay in the middle. What this relay will let you do is it will let you you could take your client star, drop it in there, and it will transfer the EMC that's stored in the relay into the client star at a set rate, depending on the tier level of the NMA relay. Then we have over here we have condenser setup another condenser setup this is f on the floor and then here's another condenser setup which is mounted to the ceiling now the three main reasons why you would want to build arrays like these of energy collectors relays and condensers are as follows the first one is to do with this energy collectors powering a condenser to produce blocks for you the second would be energy collectors around a relay to power and fill client stars. And then the third would be to do what I have over here. It's a slightly larger setup of a array or a flower, if you will. And once I get up here, you'll see. I have a condenser in the middle. <coughs> now this condenser I have no items set for it to make yet. Let's see, I'll take a, a wooden wooden plank. Wooden plank being created quickly, making stacks for me. This set up here, if I were to get my if I were to break this block here. You can see I have a relay adjacent to my an energy condenser. Relays in version 6 act as pass-throughs for energy collectors. You have energy collectors surrounding the relay. All the energy collectors will pass their energy to the relay. As you can see here, these have been sitting here for a little bit and they powered up the relay. And they will pass all their energy to the relay. Then the relay, if it is adjacent to an energy condenser, will pass its EMC to the condenser, as long as the energy condenser has an item to produce. So if I were to take this block out of here, put it back in my inventory, this relay will start to charge up some more. The EMC that a relay can hold is based on tier level. I believe a Mark 1 can hold 100,000 EMC, a Mark 2 can hold 1 million, and a Mark 3 can hold 10 million EMC. Also, when a relay is adjacent to energy collectors, not only does it get the energy per second that the collectors produce funneled into it, the relay itself also gains bonus EMC per second based on the tier level of the relay itself. So in this setup right here, I have a relay here, a relay here, a relay underneath this one, a relay underneath this one, and then a relay underneath my energy condenser. And then my relays are enclosed on five sides by energy collectors which are now which funnel their EMC into it. Now the relay will get 
bonus for each side that is has an energy collector ad next to it. And that bonus, like I said, is based on tier level. Uh, that So a tier 1 gets 1 additional EMC per second per side powered. So if this has five sides powered, this will get an additional five EMC per tick pouring into the relay. Just for free, just for having energy collectors around in addition to the four energy per second each condenser produces. Then the Mark II has a bonus as well, which is three per side. And then a Mark III has a bonus which is equal to six per side. So in this setup, if this was a Mark II relay, the amount of extra energy that it would get would be 15 compared to fives, so triple. And if it was a Mark III, it would be 30. So that doubles from a Mark II and is six times that of mark one and if if it has that bonus will be passed to the condenser if the condenser has something to do otherwise it will be stored inside the buffer of the relay now in this same setup with the relays the four relay the five relays around the condenser we can actually replace the condenser with an energy collector. Now this collector will not collect energy as it is passing its energy into the four relays around it, it's dividing it evenly. Now once I place a piece of fuel into the collector, you can see that it is upgrading it and upgrading it very, very fast. The mechanics in which the relay works with the condenser also work with a collector. The, the relay will take the energy of the collectors around the relay and pass it to the energy collector, fueling the process at which the energy collector upgrades fuels. Now, the Mobius fuel is upgrading to Eternial Eternialis fuel, which is quite a bit of EMC. But as you can see, I put in redstone and it's quickly Mobius fuel just in a matter of moments. And this, then this fuel can be used to power your power items or for the most, Eterni Eternialis needs to be created for you to create your first piece of red matter and also dark matter. I said that backwards, but anyway, you need dark matter first with Eternialis and then dark matter and Eternialis to make red matter. But once you've actually created uh, the r dark matter and or red matter, you can then target, drop that in your target of your condenser and produce red matter and dark matter directly from your energy condenser. And as you can see here, I have another flower design just uh, in the ceiling. I was uh, speaking with someone and we had had a discussion about the efficiency of this setup because of the energy collectors being on the bottom and not being open to sunlight. So I had to, uh, came and put up that design and I have determined that it's the same difference. Like these, these, these three, blo these blocks here will only get light from the relays above them, which is and a mark one is only half efficiency. So as you can see, only half. And the ones on top of this glowstone will get full. And in this setup, it's exactly the same. So it's a just design style. If you want to put it in this, you can put them in the ceiling or in the floor. Or even you could put them and set them and inset them into the wall. Doesn't matter the um, efficiency, the amount of EMC you're going to get with Mark Ones based because of the sunlight factor is always going to be the same regardless of how it's set up uh, in a three-dimensional method. Now, 
what I have here is, is the most efficient, it's not the optimal, it won't give you the most EMC into these uh, condensers, but it is the most efficient use as far as an upgraded flower. You will get your upgrade, you, each one of these condensers will be able to produce their own item and each one will get a set amount of EMC per second from all these. They, they actually will be actually exactly equal the amount they get. But compared to if you were to set up four flowers of relays, condensers, and collectors, this is saves you 11 collectors, uh, a few relays, which is EMC, that you're saved. You only lose a little bit of just a slight amount of EMC per second and it's not concentrated but even if you were to build four of the f these those flowers there separately you would still you still saving because you use less resources. And then from here this is actually the l the largest pattern of these there is. After this it just restarts to repeat itself. And then that nice the thing about this is is that the energy collector here in the middle actually is passing this power as you can see it's passing this power to this relay if I were to place fuel in this relay it'll actually upgrade and it will draw it actually it's like an inset flower it's not as as strong as if it was dedicated but you can basically have four or five machines producing uh, items at one time or you can just remove this and this will pass its energy along evenly to these four condensers. What I'm going to do though here now is I'm going to step off here and this this design I have I have I took pictures of these design stills uh, and they're posted up on the wiki on the equivalent exchange wiki site uh, they're um, top down, and I shaved off the top layer, but so you can get a better look. But basically, you put energy collectors on top of all the relays. You can, if you wish, put relays on top of the condensers, and then put an energy collector on top of that to power it faster. Again, the issue comes is the ease of access, as there's no way to the sticky pistons won't move the energy collectors nor the, the relays you have to break them each time to gain access to the condenser and there's no sides open for you to do any type of automation so just leaving the top open loses a little bit of efficiency but it's an ease of access I, I personally would just rather be able to walk up and peek in and have to like break a block and then replace it Plus, you're going to lose whatever is stored in that relay if there's anything. And same with the collector. So you're, in the long run, just wasting time. I'm hoping that this isn't, I'm not talking too fast and uh, too soft. And that the terms and this, my phrasings are not confusing anyone. But uh, this, is, this is something that I've spent quite a bit of time talking with. Uh, other testers and individuals and Zuno you know, himself and trying to devise the the optimal setup for the collectors and relays within the way the mechanics work now. I want to thank you all for sitting through this guide and tutorial to the mechanics behind the energy collector, antimatter relay, and energy condenser and also at my designs here so they get a real time look at it. Also just as a note these relays would have energy collectors underneath them. I don't know if you might have not noticed it uh, when I went underneath there they're not there. It was just for sake of ease for me. But anyway so yeah thanks again and feel free to come on down to the equivalent exchange wiki. We have an IRC. Feel free to jump drop in and pose any questions you may have about anything related to equivalent exchange or Minecraft, and if we can answer, we will. I'll post the link to the wiki in the comments, description, rather, and thanks again, and hope, uh, hope it helps. All right, see you all guys later.